This is ZTV's New York Links with Donna Mason, Joelis Ras, and Richie Rich. Welcome back to New York Links. Medgar Evers College kicked off their CEO conference series this week. We were there to cover the event featuring Fubu's CEO Damon John and Harry Wells, an international business advisor. So, in a way, he said, save your money. So, for those of you who want to go into business, first thing I'm going to tell you right now is that get your credit straight. Mm -hmm. I can help you get money. But if your credit score is below 650, I can't do very much for you. You know, my mother always told me that you always have to have a foundation. You know, we were lucky enough to have a home that we had purchased, uh, and um, she always said, you have to have a couple of things in life. You have to have a foundation, you have to have credit, and you have to have common sense. And those are a lot of things that I've cherished till this, till this day. Um, but at that time, I'd already came up with a brand called FUBU, For Us, By Us, um, as you was 10 shirts, which I had. And these 10 shirts, I went to every single video set that I can go to for the next two to three years with just these 10 shirts. And I'd put them on the wrappers, they would do their, they would do their, uh, you know, their performance, and I'll take the shirt back. And I'll put them around, take the shirt back. And if I had a date, I'd put the shirt on, and drive clean and take it back. And I did that for two to three years. Before you know it, it was a commercial at that point. It was a vacuum that was created. It was this huge company that nobody could ever find the product because it was on every. It was on Mariah Carey, Old Dirty Bassett, Busta Rhymes, LL Cool J, anybody and everybody that you may know who are celebrities. It was on, and it was literally just ten shirts. And I would, literally, you know, I was still sleeping in the house, and I would, you know, I was starting to get interviewed on local radio shows and TV, and you know, I would be. You know, at Red Lobster, taking somebody's order, and they say, aren't you the FUBU guy? And I'll just, you know, ask them they want baked potato, french fries, <laughs> rice, and <laughs> just tell them to go about my business. I went, and that, that, that thing my mother kept saying, you need credit, you need a house, you need common sense. And what I did was I put up uh, the house, got a second mortgage on the home, for $100,000. Now, I came home with that $100,000, and I took, me and my guys took all the furniture in the house and everything in the house, and we took it out of the backyard, and we chopped it up, and we started burning it immediately. And I moved in about 10 sewing machines, and I put an ad in the paper, and a couple of uh, young ladies came over, and I was basically running a makeshift uh, factory out of my home in Queens at that point. Other lines of business other than fashion, but using the FUBU brand. How do you feel about that? I mean, that, that's a certain point. You know, it's, it's all about does it fit the brand. Because as I said, you know, with him about the suit, if, you know, people have offered us everything from air fresheners to diapers. Now, it all depends if it fits the brand. You know, if we feel, if somebody feels, for the lack of a better word, that we're whoring out or exploiting the brand, then they will no longer support it on any level because they'll say, this is no longer us. Right. And, you know, and then another thing, FUBU is not necessarily just a black brand. People think that it's that. I mean, in Korea and in China, it's on soccer stadiums. It's huge. They have no idea about the African-American, you know, connection to it. So it's a, it's a cultural brand in general. Young entrepreneurs, you know, what they have to learn is the business from the bottom up. And I don't care if it's reading, if it's going to school, if it's interning at whatever business you're trying to be progressive in. Because once you learn the business from the bottom up, nobody can ever tell you anything different. A lot of people rely on everybody else to learn, but why pay somebody else if you can learn it? No, I think that you should go to school. If you have the opportunity to go to school, you should always have an academic um you know understanding of things and then as well as you have to have common sense and then you also have to have a vision you know don't come out with a product that everybody else has and your prices are nowhere near in line with everybody you have to have a combination of all those three things